secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent B-9 reporting for duty. Agent B-9, certain officers of this country's intelligence department have uncovered a letterbox agent in this city. Spies leave correspondence to be picked up later by other spies. These records contain all the known facts. You will have to work without your assistant, Miss Drake, as I have assigned her to other duties. I suggest you contact L-6. Keep the letterbox under close observation you may gain information that will lead us to an important spy ring. Keep me informed. Agent B-9 left K-7's office and immediately contacted Agent L-6 who had been instrumental in uncovering the letterbox. The two discussed the case and the steps to be taken. L-6, how much do you know about this letterbox agent? Quite a bit, B-9. As you know, I've specialized in ciphers and codes. Yes. When intelligence officials first began to suspect the address we now know as the letterbox, all mail being delivered there was first brought to me. You read everything? Yes. Surprisingly, the spy who operates this information drop is a young girl. A young girl? Yes. Her name is Brenda Korth. Mm-hmm. As I said, I've read all of her correspondence, so I know quite a bit about her. She's an orphan. She lives alone. And as far as we know, had a spotless record until several months ago. I see. You've seen her? Yes, from a distance. And I warn you, you'd never suspect her of being a spy. She just doesn't look the part, nor act it either. Why, her neighbors all think a lot of her. I've been in this business long enough to know that looks are deceiving. You're sure this girl doesn't know you? Positive. She's never even seen me. Good, L6. I have a plan. It may work. Spies who operate letterboxes or information drops often serve more than one nation. I want you to go to this Brenda Korth. Tell her you represent another power. Ask her to act for you. It might work. It's a chance. See her this afternoon. In the meantime, I'm going to set up a watch on her apartment day and night. Miss Korth is going to serve as a trap, and we may capture some big game. A few hours later, Agent L-6 called on Brenda Korth, the young blonde girl whose apartment saw many strange visitors. She seemed more like a schoolgirl than spy. L-6 came directly to the point. Yes. May I come in and talk with you, Miss Korth? Who are you? Why have you not used the usual greeting? I, uh, I don't know the greeting. However, I believe the name Lota Roan may be familiar to you. You know Lota? She sent me here. She told me that perhaps you would help me. 
come in. Is it safe to talk here? Yes. Now, Miss Corth, I'm doing some rather confidential work for a certain country. I'm often out of the city for many weeks. Now, I need an address where mail can be sent to me. Lota Roan suggested that I see you. She said you could be trusted. Perhaps I can help you. Now, my work is confidential and important. Now, if you will accept mail for me and forward it from time to time to addresses that will be furnished, I'll pay you 100 pounds a month. 100 pounds? We prefer to use English banknotes. I'll pay you in francs if you'd rather have them. It is more than I have ever received. You've done this type of work before, haven't you? I merely said that 100 pounds is more money than I have ever received before. Oh, well, I'm prepared to pay you for the first month now. Well, wait. I haven't said that I would accept. Uh, first, I must know the nation you serve. And if I refuse to tell you? I am afraid that I can't help you. I see. Well, I prefer not to mention names. However, uh, lean toward me. I'll whisper. Now, I am sure you will find working with us. What are you doing with a gun? Keep your hands over your head. If you move, I'll shoot you. Miss Corth, I, I don't understand. Well, then I'll explain. The nation you serve is responsible for my father's death. He was beaten, thrown into a concentration camp. He died. I hate all of them. Now, now, wait, wait. Let me explain. Oh, your people didn't let my father explain. Turn around. Keep your hands up. Uh, now, now I have your gun. Turn back toward that closet door. But, Miss Corth, I, I warn you. Back into that closet. Step in, I said. That evening, the young spy received another visitor, a man well-known in the world of international intrigue. As soon as he heard of her prisoner, he questioned L-6. Later, he talked with the girl. What did he tell you, Bema? Not much. And yet I found out more than he realizes. I have seen him before. Bema, you must do me a favor. I served you. Uh, give me some secret papers. I don't care what they are. We'll plant them on him and turn him over to this country's intelligence department. He will be tried and face the firing squad. You hate him? I hate him and all he stands for. Will you help me? Your plan wouldn't work. The man locked in the next room is Special Agent L-6. He's a secret agent. But, but he told me he... Yes, said... yes, I know. He told you he served the country you came from. <laughs> it was a trap. He didn't know your race, Miss Corth. You are probably the only girl of your race who has ever had the honor of serving our leader. Our leader? Do you mean that the spies whose messages I take serve the land I was driven from? Of course. Who did you think we worked for? I am serving the land I hate. What did you say? Nothing. I hope I misunderstood. We now have you completely in our power, Miss Corth. Your prisoner in the next room places you in our hands. You can't escape. What will we do with him? Tonight, an important official of our government is to meet me here. He comes with papers of great value to our country. As soon as he has left, we will leave this apartment and never return. The fact that L-6 came here proves the police are suspicious of your activities. I leave you now. I will return at 8 o'clock. Our visitor will also come at that time. It was a strange situation. Brenda Corth found that she served the man she hated most, the man who persecuted the people of her race. The information stunned her at first. Then she realized what she must do. A little before 8 o'clock that evening, she talked with L-6. L-6, I've got to talk to you. He has tied you. Wait, I will cut the rope. How did you find out that I was Agent L-6? Bema, the man who was here, he told me. He told me many things. There. <sighs> Now you're free. I, I don't understand your actions. Wait, wait, let me explain. I didn't know Bema worked for the nation that persecuted my father. When I first started, he told me that he belonged to the French Secret Service. He lied to you? Yes, because he realized how much I hated the country he really served. Huh, I should have known. You've been playing a dangerous game. I'll have to arrest you. I know. I don't mind. But first, I'll have revenge. Listen to me. Tonight, Bema is to meet an important official here. He comes with papers of great value. 
They're coming here to your apartment? Yes. You must arrest them, too. Here, take your guns. Yes. I also have one. I'll help you. Miss Corth, have you been outside of this building since I came here this afternoon? Well, yes. I went to the telephone and... Did you see an organ grinder outside? Yes. He was across the street. I saw the children. Well, why do you ask? The organ grinder was Agent B-9. He's watching this building. I think we're ready for your friends when they arrive. Oh, they're here. Quick, get out of sight. Let them in. I'm ready. What made you take so long answering the bell? Come in, Excellency. This? This is a girl? Yes. <laughs> Who would suspect one of her race, sir? Put your hands over your head, both of you. What is the meaning of this? It means that I've had my revenge, Excellency. You are both under arrest. Look out, El Six. He has a gun. Oh. Thank you, Miss Corth. You saved my life. Are you all right, L6? Yes, Agent B9. It's all right, Miss Corth. This is Agent B9. Who's this man on the floor? His name is Bema. Miss Corth shot him when he attempted to escape. And the other is an important official of the secret police of Bema's country. He carries important papers. I think we can say this case is closed. <laughs> are active in many world capitals. Their work consists, for the most part, in forwarding papers, plans, and correspondence sent in their care. Often, this type of spy is very difficult to uncover. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. <laughs>